Hello everyone, welcome to my home studio and this is one of the series of videos on uh, how to enhance your home with advanced uh, technologies by not spending a million on that, uh, just doing it by used and cheap parts, but with one uh, thing. Uh, despite using uh, these parts, the goal is to achieve the highest quality. And this time I want to talk about the home audio system, uh, not the simple one, not the simple speakers, not the simple solutions, but uh, probably the most complex from one perspective and maybe the most simplest looking from another perspective uh, solution. It's cheap, it's extremely high quality uh, and every home could have it and don't do this uh, experiments, uh, experimentation during the process of finding uh, what uh, home hi-fi audio system uh, you actually want, need, spending tons of money on that. So this is the hardware here. Everything is important in this setup. Not everything is needed. Uh, most of the parts could be replaced by the used one, ones and really cheap ones. Yeah, but uh, still, this is the scene where everything happens. Actually, not everything is visible here. Later on, I show you my final solution. And in the next... Uh, in the next video, I will explain everything uh, from the software perspective and where to get uh, the music exactly when you have a perfect hardware. So, this is it. Let's start. So, we have a lot of stuff here, but uh, my journey started from this thing. This is the Tivoli radio. Uh, Tivoli audio radio, uh, Tivoli audio radio model one. Yeah, and uh, it's pretty expensive. Uh, if you buy it new, it will be close to 200 euros. And somehow I managed to get this nice stuff uh, for 10 euros only in the flea market. And it is completely perfect. It's completely perfectly working um, radio. The only thing which you don't know when you buy this kind of stuff is the uh, condenser which is used for ch changing the frequencies by turning this knob. And the problem is that uh, a special grease inside it, uh, it dries out uh, through the time and you need to replace it, uh, which is Engineerically possible, but pretty complex, takes time, it's pretty expensive and it will happen again and you don't know when you buy it at first time. So you buy it for 10 euros and you think that you won a jackpot, but this is the problem. It's uh, For me, it was very hard to tune this radio to the national station and uh, I thought, okay, even if I manage to tune it to that station, uh, I want to listen to the latest news uh, to be on track. Uh, but uh, it's not the quality I was uh, I wanted to get from the uh, from the sound of this high quality radio. I mean, there was uh, disturbances in the signal. It was hard to tune, and. Uh, what is nice with this radio, it's completely analog, there is no digital converters or amplifiers and it has tons of ports. So, uh, if you want to have a good high quality starting system, this is the one to go. You go to a flea market, you find it, there is a lot of them there. Yeah, it could be like scratched a little bit and so on. With this I attached by myself. Yeah, but still they are working. Uh, speakers are really good quality speakers. Internals too, except the condenser. A variable condenser and here we go. We have 
tons of ports. What is important here is that you have uh, two power sources, which is internal, but you can attach the external. I used uh, so you remove some noise outside uh, of the system. So I used the Cisco router uh, power power adapter here. It worked perfectly, but that's not the main main point. You have line in here, so. I noticed that I have line in, so maybe I could turn this beautifully sounding with a warm sound uh, radio into the internet radio and uh, get the highest possible stream from that national radio and listen it without any disturbances. So how could I get uh, internet bits signal to the analog audio in? So I was doing some research and the interesting thing, let's go further. Uh, yeah, one thing before that, actually, uh, yeah, one step, uh, coming one step back, I done another thing here before the, um, finding the converter from the internet stream to the uh, analog audio in. Yeah, so the first step was, okay, I thought I will find a really high-end uh, digital audio, uh, digital radio, the small one, and uh, just uh, connected its line out to this beautifully crafted uh, radio line in. And then I tune it to that radio station and I will get perfect sound and problem will be solved. I will have very cheap uh, but uh, high quality home radio and would be happy with that. For that I bought this, uh, this nice small um, cheap, uh, cheap but high quality digital radio, uh, radio receiver and uh, after buying it. Uh, I didn't find uh, enough information on the internet, but in the end I found that in my country there is no broadcast for uh, DAB uh, radio, uh, digital radio stream and I can only use it as uh, FM frequent, frequency modulation uh, as a FM tuner. So this is not a win. I didn't get the benefits uh, I was looking for. Yeah, and of course, this is why I have this cable here. It has a high importance because you can connect it to the source and then to the receiver. And this is how it is possible in a simple way to transfer the audio signal. Uh, of course, I know you know that, but still, uh, this cable is pretty important in, in the most of the setups when you're setting up a home uh, audio system. All right, so this doesn't work. What was my next step? So I done some research on the internet and I found this nice Apple device. So this is the uh, uh, Apple AirPort device, uh, which was issued by Apple by the different reasons. Uh, it's more like a, it's a router, but the interesting thing what it has actually, it has audio out. So once again, we take this cable, we put it here, uh, we connect it, let's say to this radio and uh, we have AirPlay 1 uh, internet radio because we could uh, stream uh, audio stream through AirPlay to this device and then uh, send audio signal to this radio. And actually AirPlay 1 uh, is better than AirPlay 2 because it ensures uh, CD quality. Uh, it has uh, constant streaming and ensures CD quality. And it has uh, Ethernet cable connection so you don't need that uh, not stable uh, uh, wireless connection. So you connect this to the Ethernet cable, you connect this uh, sentence uh, to the 
line in on that radio and the most interesting thing you run a radio internet radio station on the apple tv and uh, stream it through the airplay over the ethernet cable to airport device and then to the radio so this is amazing setup small devices pretty high quality not so high but still pretty high quality everything is wired so the signal is very stable all right so it looks pretty good and uh, it's almost the cheapest setup the first version i suggest to everyone and uh, you can buy this device only for 30 euros so can you imagine it's apple high-end with very high quality parts inside device it's actually connects to the mains directly uh, yeah and uh, only 30 euros so you buy high quality speaker actually you need uh, active speaker if you don't have additional amplifier but you have you buy like uh, this high quality radio with a line in that's 10 euros you buy this for 30 euros and uh, if you have iphone or apple tv or let's say macbook at your home or ipad you stream your you know, radio station whatever you like or whatever radio station uh, runs on your device so all world radio stations works on apple tv also you can run anything on macbook and here you go you have high-end uh, internet radio for 40 euros that's a really good win uh, but uh, that could be good but uh, for me when i start something it doesn't end at the cheapest and uh, simplest solution. I started to research further on and I found that I can buy uh, generation one Sonos speakers. This is uh, Sonos 5. It's very high quality sound uh, speaker. Uh, the problem is just that it's, uh, I think it's 12 years old speaker just for 50 euros. So, what can you do then? Of course, you can uh, use the S1 um, application on your mobile phone to stream to this uh, speaker. But I done different thing. I take AirPort and connect that line out to the uh, this speaker has also line in to the speaker, and then once again I have super high quality internet radio. Okay, 30 and 50 euros, it's 80 euros. And I, I can stream whatever I want and get a beautiful, amazing sound. Yeah, I can show you, of course. Here we go. As you can see, there is a two Ethernet ports, there is a headphone port, uh, a power port and line in. Yeah, so that's amazing. That was the next step. In my journey and uh, it doesn't end it where uh, we're at that step so yeah at that point I thought all right so I have um, airplay receiver I have amazingly sounding speaker and I could uh, stream a radio station from Apple TV to this device to the speaker and have a high quality internet radio for cheap and pretty customizable and uh, yeah but there was something I was thinking and, and reading um, blog posts uh, going through the internet and looking for a little bit more to improve my solution and uh, actually uh, I noticed uh, and I already noticed that a few years ago on the Apple Music that now uh, uh, processors are pretty powerful and internet is fast enough. So a new wave now is to stream uh, 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 audio uh, 
uh, which is not compressed. So it's it's uh, at a high sampling rate. This audio is digitized in the studio. It is not compressed, so nothing is lost. And uh, then you can uh, listen to the audio which is uh, actually recorded in the studio. And uh, that radio station I am listening to actually streams in that uh, high quality um, fashion. So then I thought, all right, so what uh, I could do to get that quality to my setup. Uh, and uh, I was uh, looking and at the software which could help me to stream uh, lossless audio to my setup. And at, uh, for my disappointment, I understood that AirPlay, uh, which is on this device, it doesn't allow it, it changes the sound a lot, actually, if you are comparing to the lossless uh, audio quality. And when I heard how lossless audio quality sounds, this wasn't the option for me anymore. So, and uh, then the question is the next. Uh, what do you, what you will listen? So the first thing, uh, uh, you can listen to files you have or to, uh, uh, yeah, or to, I don't know, whatever music source you have at your home. Uh, but uh, I think the most convenient thing is to have uh, is to use uh, high quality streaming service like Tidal or let's say Apple Music or Amazon Music. There is also an option uh, we stream in high quality. But then, uh, how? Uh, what is the most comfortable way for a user to have that? So I found on the internet. I will talk on the software and all these things in the next uh, in the next video. But in this one, I am just showing the hardware. So I found that uh, the most, uh, the nicest and uh, the highest quality software for restreaming the Tidal. This is Tidal is a music service. Restreaming the Tidal music service by showing what exact uh, audio quality is at the receiving end is the rune server so and for rune server there is some interesting things happening so you install the rune server on the macbook this is or another pc uh, whatever pc you have it's multi-platform uh, yeah, and then you can stream to most of the systems. Uh, you can stream directly to the Sonos, for example, uh, to the speaker with lossless audio. Uh, but still, that will be limited in quality. But the most interesting thing in that system that you could take Raspberry Pi device. Uh, this is uh, Raspberry Pi, Pi 4 in the custom case, very nice case. You will install that uh, Rune server client here on this Raspberry Pi. And then uh, you can connect uh, external DAC digital audio converter to the USB port here. Uh, yeah, because uh, yeah, you could, you could use uh, this USB-C to USB-C, USB-A converter connected to the Raspberry Pi. Another end you could connect uh, to a digital converter and then to the radio or to the speaker. And uh, yes, in that case, you can have the highest possible audio quality. So it goes directly through the Rune server, from the Tidal to the Rune server, through the Rune server to the Rune client, then to the uh, digital audio converter. This is the high, high, very high quality Hidus audio, digital audio converter. Uh, it has uh, sampling rate uh, 768, the highest one. 
it's not possible to hear the benefits of, of that uh, sampling grid, but still, it's really, really high quality digital audio converter, very small. So you have a system, you cable it to the speaker, and you completely control which audio quality you send, which audio quality is received uh, with tons of filters and uh, adjustments. Uh, and then this super high quality sound goes through the Raspberry Pi, through the DAC to the, your perfect uh, speakers. So that was also an amazing solution, almost an amazing solution. But uh, I noticed one thing here that uh, actually this Rune server and Tidal, it has some problems. Uh, it's not very strong on the playlist creation and uh, by using machine learning. Um, I used Apple Music, which has uh, lossless audio quality, uh, but it, you just play one song and uh, next songs are so uh, good related to the song which you listen, so you can have uh, infinite stream of very high quality, very related songs uh, without a burden for creating the playlists, for searching for them, so without spending any efforts. And Apple Music looks amazing on uh, TV, uh, so you have uh, nice sound and you have uh, uh, amazing user interface, but it doesn't work with Rune Server. All right, so what you see at this point, this doesn't work, this doesn't work, this doesn't work, this doesn't work. Uh, yeah, because uh, Rune Server doesn't have integration with Apple Music. And I think that's made intentional. So Apple wants uh, that uh, their users uh, would use their hardware. So what could I do then? So the next, almost the final solution was uh, yeah, uh, get rid of the room server, uh, but use uh, Apple TV, which could stream uh, high quality lossless audio via HDMI port. Then take this nice uh, Germany made uh, uh, audio extractor from HDMI. So uh, uh, this HDMI cable comes to HDMI in into this audio extractor and then you have uh, audio, audio line out which you connect to your speaker and uh, you have uh, yeah another end you connect to your TV of course so you have beautiful user interface on the TV you have uh, lossless audio sound through the, from the Apple Apple TV device to the speaker. Uh, yeah, but uh, the problem here is that, um, uh, yeah, there was uh, uh, when audio quality is switching or video is switching, uh, mm, uh, there is a delay in the sound. Uh, there are some additional noises uh, on the speaker and uh, it's not so comfortable. So you all the time you hear some additional noises when video is changing or song is changing. So that was also not the perfect solution. Uh, and uh, yeah, and uh, what's uh, uh, the problem is that also Apple TV can stream uh, 48 kilohertz sampling rate and 24 bits. So this is uh, so uh, most of the lossless songs go into the standard, but there are a lot of uh, music in a higher quality on the Apple Music. So I was thinking further how to what to do to get the highest quality from the Apple Music uh, to my system, uh, and uh, yeah, so. Uh, this is how I went to the final solution. 
So let's go and see it. Yeah, so as you can see in the process, uh, I once again went to the uh, fleet market and uh, I found this beautiful new generation uh, Sonos 5 uh, speaker. Yeah, it has some dents here and here. Uh, it doesn't have a logo, uh, but I bought it for one third of the price. And it sounds perfectly as a new in and that's a newest generation. Uh, another thing which uh, it has, uh, the problem which it has, it's a uh, burnt out uh, audio in. But that was not a problem for me. Uh, it was cheap, it sounds perfectly. And I found a solution how it connect everything uh, and uh, that would work for me. So yeah, uh, if you go to the back, you could see that this uh, speaker is also connected uh, via Ethernet cable, and this is a power cable. Okay, so how the solution looks like. So here we go. Uh, this is the moment of truth, and uh, yeah, this is the solution. So uh, this is the Mac Studio here, as you can see. Uh, but it could be a um, Mac Mini, used Mac Mini, really cheap, cheap device. Yeah, so this is an Apple logo, yeah. Uh, and on top of it, it's the Sonos port device. I had it before. Uh, the good thing is that uh, this device has uh, line in. And uh, uh, I connect my Mac Studio uh, to my TV, as you can see. Yeah, uh, and headphone jack, uh, Mac Studio actually has, and uh, also Mac Mini, the new Mac Mini M1 Mac Mini, which is you could get for 200 or 300 euros only, used, has really a good internal uh, digital audio converter, digital analog converter, DAC. Uh, so this uh, speaker line out goes to the line in of this Sonos uh, converter, and then it streams um, audio information to the Ethernet to all my house, to all my uh, to all rooms uh, speakers uh, with the same delay. So actually, there is no delay when you are listening to it. So and uh, here you go. You could have a full control uh, of your system uh, by the macOS operating system. So you could see, you could watch Netflix, you could listen any possible radio. You could have a highest quality sound here, uh, lossless audio from the Apple Music. And then through the Sonos port, it, go it goes to all your Sonos devices around your house. And these beautiful devices, uh, they could uh, they could be bought in the flea market for cheap, uh, not maybe not the uh, not the latest ones. Still, they sound amazingly, and you have uh, lossless sound uh, from the Apple Music with a beautiful interface on the on the on your beautiful TV. So let's see how it works. So, as with usual computer, you need keyboard and a mouse or a trackpad and then uh, it's pretty easy to control your audio system so you could uh, start or pause it you, you could forward it or backward to the previous song uh, change the sound uh, force and uh, of course you could do all this uh, all this control with a trackpad uh, yeah and uh, the interesting thing is that uh, apple music it has uh, it has uh, this special screen, uh, high quality screen uh, for displaying uh, 
Apple Music information uh, on the uh, uh, big PC screens or on the TV. So you just uh, go to this mode and uh, yeah, you need to, to make it full screen. So yeah, once again, uh, you go to this mode. Ah, oh, it goes to the full screen automatically with Apple Music in the full screen. Yeah, so and you have the same experience as on Apple TV, but in the same uh, uh, in the same fashion, you have the higher quality lossless sound. So up to ninety six uh, kilohertz of sampling rate, and if you this is with the internal Mac Studio or Mac Mini. Uh, deck, but if you connect external deck uh, as I showed you before, uh, this one, yeah, uh, this is it. So you could uh, reach the highest audio quality uh, which uh, uh, Apple Music streams. Uh, this quality is uh, 192 kilohertz sampling rate, and this sampling rate is usually for the classical uh, classical music yeah and uh, yeah so you have your hi-fi audio system you have beautiful UI on your beautiful TV screen uh, you have uh, very comfortable control system of uh, Mac OS and it's you can hide it in the closet behind your below your TV as in my case as and just enjoy the highest quality music and of course you can listen to any internet radio so i can show you my favorite national radio so here we go this is just a shortcut and this is the radio we stream with the video uh, but we also stream only audio which is really high quality and you have uh, which uh, uh, which uh, uh, what is going on on the radio at the moment you are listening it uh, the full program here for today and uh, also you can listen for the recordings of the of the radio programs which happened today so you don't need any additional complicated stuff uh, you just connect uh, your Mac uh, you get the highest possible audio quality uh, through the uh, good high fidelity system and uh, yeah the takeout the today's takeout is that uh, uh, actually if you want to have any high quality service at your home yeah you need a high quality processor let's say you want to share your disk so you need to have computer around it with a high-end uh, operating system as TrueNAS as you, you could uh, I have a special radio series uh, video series on that uh, you can find on my youtube channel and uh, in the end that happened the same with, uh, with my audio system so i have high quality speaker and i need a computer connected to it uh, to have the highest quality streaming uh, service to that speaker and that's at the moment the only option to have that quality sound from the apple music Sonos is doing a great job and you could uh, get that high quality sound from uh, uh, from uh, Amazon Music uh, but uh, it's not the same with Apple Music so it's in the process. And by the way one side effect of this setup is actually that you could see there is an internet camera on top of my TV so with this setup you could have also a high quality video calls uh, with a good audio system with a good camera on top of the tv and you could sit very comfortably on your couch when you are speaking with your friends with your family so 
there is a lot of benefits to have computer connected to the TV screen and to a good audio system. And maybe this is the only one good setup nowadays. There was a trend by doing this in the past, but the computers was uh, big, uh, noisy and hot, and that was not possible to achieve. But nowadays, uh, computers are quiet, small, and very powerful, and maybe to have the most uh, convenient home audio video system, the best way is to have a computer under your TV. And of course, uh, there are some services which you can't stream over the AirPlay to your Apple TV and watch them. So this is the only way how to watch with services on the TV. So you, uh, you watch them on the computer, which is below the TV. And that's the usual uh, TV service. So this is it. I revealed my final setup. I explained uh, the steps I went through. So it was a hard journey. Actually, I spent, I don't know, I think a month on experimenting on all this hardware I have here, on uh, experimenting on software, configuring it, installing it. Uh, in the different rooms, different setups, and in the end, as you see, like the final solution is pretty simple. I have a Mac Studio under my TV. It's connected through a digital analog converter, the Sonos port, to the Sonos system, which is all around my home, where there are other speakers at my home and different rooms. And uh, also, uh, also, uh, uh, I have a web camera on my TV uh, and I have uh, high quality video calls uh, for work or for with my relatives and friends. Uh, that's a nice uh, side, uh, side benefit and side effect. Uh, and. Uh, on another video, I would explain, I will share my experience with the software because there are still there are things uh, if you have this uh, one of these setups which I have here, you still need to configure your software. You still need to do some tweaks and after that you will receive the highest benefits from the hardware you have. And when everything is set up, you just enjoy a high quality radio or music daily through your day and uh, your life is better. So in the previous series, I explained how you could have a shared disk drive at your home and you have your own cloud and enjoy it. I also explained how to block advertisements at, in the internet at your home, how to uh, anonymize your internet with Unright, uh, a DNS server, a real DNS server. And uh, now I explained uh, some hardware stuff on the audio system. So that's it for this time and let's meet in next video.